Remember in my last video I complained I wasn't able to do a rendezvous yet? Well, that didn't take long. Hello everybody and welcome. We are back with Kitten Space Agency and this is just a short video mainly just to show you that what I meant in my previous video is actually true. Not only do I mean it but I can prove it because in the meantime since that video released a couple of new builds of KSA were released and now we can do rendezvous with other ship without any problem because the developers integrated a better solver for calculating the closest approach between two vessels and I have experimented a little bit with it. Actually it was pretty easy if you know how to do a rendezvous in Kerbal Space Program. For those of you who are new here, we are currently covering Kitten Space Agency, a spiritual successor to the widely successful space simulation game Kerbal Space Program. I've been following this game for almost a year now, ever since it was announced. And if you're interested in that type of thing, make sure you're subscribed to don't miss an update like this one. Anyway, since the most recent build version of this game, which is still in a very early pre-alpha state that is still only accessible for a select group of people, well, in this early build, in this new build, we now have two options to get a rendezvous done with two vehicles. The first one is the manual method. You just select the vehicle that you want to rendezvous with and then you kind of eyeball your burn maneuvers where you want to do them so you get the closest approach. That will get you, well, very close to your target. In this case, first I tried to match the planes of both vessels. Which of course costs a lot of fuel. Plane change maneuvers are expensive, but in the current state the game offers you a vehicle with incredibly large fuel reserves and also quite overpowered compared to the real Apollo command and service module. After the plane change I try to align the periapsis with my target's orbit. I do this here by doing a radial burn, so I move my orbit in such a way that my periapsis is touching the orbit of my target. Then I fiddle around with the apoapsis in such a way that, well, if I increase it and or I decrease it, the closest approach will of course change and I try to fiddle around with it until I get a closest approach that would be, well, actually close. In the end I managed to do that and ended up fairly close to my target. Not as close as I would have liked because I'm still not as well versed with the controls of this vessel. If you remember how the UI looked in my previous video, there are some new additions here to these autopilot panels. There's now a dedicated burn panel and there is now a dedicated target panel. The first one will show you important information about how long it takes until you reach the burn. It offers you those buttons to warp there and automatically execute the burn. By the way, I made a mistake in my previous video. When you click on auto, it will not only automatically start the burn, it will also automatically align your vehicle to the burn. You don't have to press the burn positive to do that. The vehicle does it on its own. I was just confused because otherwise when you use the autopilot mode, it would switch to nav ball to either the orbit or velocity or star mode. And also of course the burn mode if you press positive or negative there, but it doesn't do that when you press the auto button on the burn panel. Anyway, everything is still a work in progress, so don't take my word as gospel here. I'm just reporting on what I can see at the moment and what's going on here. The target panel offers us to align with the target's orbit or point anti-velocity, so we can cancel out the velocity to our vessel that we want to rendezvous with and also to head towards it or head away from it. If you are a veteran Kerbal Space Program player, you will be pretty familiar with these terms. And if you aren't, well, you can't play Kitten Space Agency yet. The public alpha has not been released yet, but it will. There is no official timeline on that yet, but the developers have stated that there will be a free alpha build for the public available. Another thing they did since I posted my previous video is they changed the units. Well, they added some. You can now have millimeters per second. <laughs> and that prompted some of us in the group that now has access to the pre-alpha to kind of 
do a little bit of a contest who can get the relative velocity to the rendezvous target the lowest. I think I managed to go to 0 0.09 millimeters per second before it went up again. And the other direction, we usually have meters and kilometers. There are now gigameters before we enter astronomical units. And I think there's even light years somewhere. So much rambling about just half of what I want to talk about. This was the first method of getting it around the rendezvous, which is doing it manually, but of course there's also the transfer planner, and this of course calculates a much more efficient way to get an encounter. First of all, we now have a close encounter of 0, 0.0 millimeters, which is nice, and also it only costs us 34 meters per second of delta V. But then again, once we get there, we will have, of course, um, a lot of velocity to adjust because when we go to that intersect point, the closest approach, we will have to adapt our plane and also the rest of our velocity to match speeds with the target, which I then, of course, did, as you can see here in the video. And of course, it wouldn't be a shadow zone video with a rendezvous if the rendezvous wouldn't have taken place on the shadow side of the planet. Seriously, I didn't plan for this. It always happens. It happened in my old KSP videos. It happened in the KSP2 videos back when I did them. And now it happens in the KSA videos. I'm kind of cursed like that. One more thing in my previous video that is already outdated is where I talked about the orbit lines. When you go to the main menu on top and go to view, now in the orbit lines submenu, you can now have your vessel, your current planetary body and your target body as a preset. Exactly what I talked about previously. So yeah, great job guys. Really appreciate this update and it definitely increases the fun that can be had with KSA. So I really hope there will be a public build for all of you guys soon, so we can discuss in the comments not only what you see in my videos or other people's videos, but what you experience yourself in this game. So as I said, really just a quick update on what I posted a few days ago, just to demonstrate how really how fast the progress is on Kitten Space Agency at the moment. There are builds daily that are released, sometimes more well, than one per day, and it's kind of hard keeping up with everything, but it's still a lot of fun watching this thing grow and coming to life. And I hope you enjoy watching it together with me. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this and whether or not you're looking forward to trying it out yourself. Before we finish this, once again, a huge shout out and thanks to all my people over on Patreon. If you go for one of the higher tiers or one of the higher tiers here as a YouTube member, your name will show up here, together with all of these wonderful people. As I said, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot for supporting this channel. And for everyone else, also, thank you for watching. And as usual, do the usual algorithm pleasing thing like like and subscribe and commenting and sharing this video with your friends. And we see each other in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching, goodbye.